What's going on everyone, what is poppin'? So I've been testing new teams lately and I made one that's been working pretty well. So I figured I'd just hit record and hop into a video. Uh, this one features a very heat Vaporeon set. So I'm excited to show you all what I got. Before we get into it though, I'd like for you all to leave a comment and tell me what is your favorite evolution I'd like to know. And is there a new type for evolutions you want to see in the future? Um, I look forward to hearing from you all as always. This one kind of fits the, the whole Eevee theme or Vaporeon theme I guess. Because I also have Umbreon on this team too. So we got two of the evolutions on the same team. Uh, but Vaporeon with Weakness Policy. You already know, Weakness Policy is becoming one of my favorite items alongside uh, Rocky Helmet, but it makes so many Pokemon more viable or able to do different things than they can usually do. So with Weakness Policy on Vaporeon, we have Acid Armor as well, right? So we can boost our defense, then if we get hit by a super effective attack, we get a plus 2 attack and special attack boost. So that's 3 boosts right there, um, the total being I think plus 6, uh, with 2 on each one. And just an idea of what kind of calcs you can get from this. For instance, if Kiram clicks Freeze Drive versus us and we already have an Acid Armor boost, Weakness Policy activates. Store Power does a minimum of 100% with 52 Special Attack. It's crazy. Um, the EV Spread allows us to survive Choice Specs, Tapu Koko's Thunderbolt, which is nice. Um, speed to Outrun, Corviknight without speed, and then Rested Defense, which um, is pretty cool because after an Acid Armor, you can live Choice Band, um, Grassy Glide. Not Wood Hammer though, unfortunately, but I think you can with plus four acid armor boost so it's pretty interesting um I, I i just like weakness policy a lot because getting the stored power um more powerful allows us to even break through pecs and stuff later on which is nice and i think after like plus four or six acid armor stored power naturally to it chaos toxic effects anyways so it's pretty cool um paired it with corviknight because corviknight takes grass type hits really well for vaporeon like rillaboom and stuff and kartana and also defox for the team and then umbreon which is a really good pokemon for wish and can heal up Vaporeon. Um, so these three are really good together. Mamoswine is an electric immunity. And of course the AV, Chinese EV spread here, you already know. This Pokemon is fantastic. Able to um, deal with so many Pokemon in the tier. Hatterene, I have this Pokemon here, which I haven't brought in a long time. This Pokemon is really good in terms of uh, magic bounce and also fighting resist. Very bulky, calm mind user. Um, just good synergy overall. And finally Heatran, which is Stealth Rocks for the team. So we got our Defogger, our Stealth Rocker. Um, Heatran is just great because um, it's able to give us a lot of good resistances for the team and yeah, get some nice Stealth Rock support overall. Um, but that's going to be the squad. Let's just go ahead and hop into a game. Try to show off Vaporeon as much as we can. It's, uh, it's really fun. Oh, Trick Room. Trick Room for the first one. Okay. This is going to be interesting. Check this out, right? I'm going to actually lead Vaporeon. <laughs> And then Acid Armor. So he gets up rocks here. We can actually just Acid Armor all the way up. Because then I don't think he can break us. Yep. Explode. <laughs> Not bad. So we're we're max defense right here. So if he goes Mel Metal and hits us with like a Thunder Punch or something, which he does. Check this out. Weakness Policy Boost. Scald. Doing some good damage. No burn unfortunately, but um, this is fine. So that Pokemon is gone. Crawdon comes in. I don't even know if Crawdon can knock us out. Yeah, it can't. <laughs> Yo. Vaporeon versus Trick Room. And we burn this thing, that's fine. But we're actually faster now anyways. I'm gonna just store power everything else now. <laughs> GG. <laughs> so Vaporeon sweep for the first one. That's like too good to be true. I did not, I did not even expect that. <laughs> Trick Room for the first game. Wow, okay. Moving on, moving on. So, you already know, never bring Trick Room versus me. Uh, unless you can find a way to hack me with Trick Room, then then I can lose. I've lost only one game to Trick Room out of like 100,000 games. Um, let's see. So Vaporeon also looks really good here too. Like, it looks really, really good. He leaves Buzzwell though, so not quite sure what to expect here. I'm going to go Corviknight just to be safe. And um, we see Close Combat. I think that thing is choice banded. That thing did <laughs> quite a bit of damage. Alright, so we'll do that. Now we can just double back into Corviknight. As his own Corviknight comes out. Yep, so we get the Roost off. So now we know what this Buzzwell set is. We know that it's choice banded. Which is good information to have. Goes Nido King here. We have an Umbreon which we can go into right now. As he flamethrowers. Um, and we can just wish. As he goes Corviknight. Um... Could wish up Hatterene if I wanted. I think I'll do that. 
get some nice uh, recovery on this Pokemon. And then Buzzle comes in. I don't know what this thing's gonna do. <laughs> I think I just Draining Kiss. He shouldn't have uh, anything that can Oko me. Right, so he goes Nidoking. So we go Umbreon here. Take this hit really well. And I can just Wish and heal myself back up. And then figure out what he locks himself into, which is going to be Leech Life. Okay, so we know he's locked in. I can go Corviknight. Yeah, I can go Corviknight here. As Nidoking comes back. So I must see if I can get up rocks at some point. It's going to be pretty useful. Yeah, that's a high roll there. <laughs> this guy is a high roller. Yep, yep. Nice. Let's see what he locks himself into once again. And it's going to be close combat, so we go Hatterene. And then I think I'll side Shock here. Or I could Draining Kiss again. Yeah, in case T-Tar comes in, which it does. Which it does indeed. Not sure what set he is on this Pokemon. It looks like, okay, so he has leftovers on it. So it shouldn't be able to beat Corviknight. He does T-Wave me. So let's get, let's get the Body Press off here, right? Get the Body Press, do a good chunk of damage, and then we can always Heal Bell Corviknight later on. Uh, like right now, for instance, we can Heal Bell. Um, well... Figured I'd just get as much HP back as I can. Now I can heal Bell. <laughs> now I can. It's like a wish here. Buzzle comes in. Um, Future Sight's coming out, so I, I might as well just protect. Not so that Umbreon can uh, take any damage, or any other team can take any damage. So, Slowbro comes in here. Here's what we do. We go Vaporeon. And then we, uh, <laughs> double out. And then protect here. So I don't know if this is SD or not, but we definitely protect. Just to scout and see, um, what move he would go for there. Because if he SD'd up, I know we live any hit and we can foul play. So I'm going to foul play here. Get some big damage off from the Kartana. Which will be very useful. Alright. Um, we got to see what he locks himself into. Slowbro comes in. I'm going to go Vaporeon here. Back into Umbreon. Oh, actually, you know what I'll do? I'm uh, I'm Acid Armor here. I'm an Acid Armor here. <laughs> this might be the play. So I'm probably going to take a big chunk of damage if I stay in with Vaporeon, but I want to see it put in work anyways. First game was absolutely amazing. Seeing it solo an entire Trick Room team, always nice to see. He future sets again, so I'm going to just Acid Armor once more. So he goes Nidoking here. I take not much at all. Yeah, I can live any hit. Let's knock this thing out and eliminate... Oh, eliminate this Pokemon, thankfully. Thankfully. <laughs> it lived, barely. Um, yeah, we go Corviknight here, as he will Leaf Blade. So, yep, and that's going to be GG. Not bad, not bad. So, getting rid of Nidoking was a big piece to everything, because that was, like, one of his, like, good breakers for the team. But thankfully, we came through. Thankfully. So far, so good. Showing off Vaporeon. Two people have already forfeited to the Vaporeon. Um, one entire sweep, basically, and, uh... Yeah, Vaporeon came through. Ooh, wait a second. Okay, so if we can get Vaporeon's weakness policy activated, that's going to be amazing, amazing versus this guy's team, I think. Um, though he does have the Slow King, though. I think I just lead uh, Mamoswine. So it also looks like Hatterene can put in a lot of work here as well. Unless, of course, this is unaware of Clef. Uh, I see. The lead. So we go Corviknight here as he body presses. I think I just roost. Oh, Iron Defense body press. I see. I see. Um, so then Hatterene can probably deal with this thing. I assume. So 
So it goes Chansey. This is actually pretty good. I can uh, probably combine again. So Clef comes in. This has to be unaware then, I guess. Maybe Mystical Fire. This is not bad at all. He'll have more combines though, unfortunately, but let's see. Mm. Yeah, this is fine. Corviknight comes in. Double to hat. So if we can get rid of uh, Clefable, that'll make our life a lot easier. Tangrowth, hello. Um, yep, lower this thing's attack. I don't know if this one has Earthquake or not, but it could be, could be an Earthquaker. Sludge bombs, and poisons me as well. It's all right. Let's see what he's trying to do here. Trying to knock off, okay. He is trying to knock off something. What do I do? You can go Corviknight. Now he goes Pex, we can go Hatterene on this Pokemon. So we have Wish and stuff, which I don't know if he has or not. We can get some nice chip on this. Go into um Go into Umbreon here. Gets another poison. But we can just heal, which is fine. And he's just burning through sludge bombs, which is really good for us, in my opinion. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to foul play here. Foul play, I think, will do some good damage to this Pokemon. And if he switches, that's fine, too. Yeah, Clef. Um, I'm going to go Heatran. So I don't think he can touch Heatran at all. Yeah, let's... uh. Actually, let's Magma Storm here. Rocks could be nice too, but I like Magma Storm. Actually, I, d I like Rocks a little bit more. I like Rocks. Let's Taunt. Yep. Very nice. Go into um, Corviknight. Double the Hatterene. And then we can just... Uh, I think Psy Shock here. Just continuously Psy Shock things. So now Rocks are up so we can pressure him a bit. And I don't think he can really break through us. It's going to be tough to break through him, but we at least have some ways of doing it. Um, okay, Chansey. Yeah, there we go. Got the Calm Mind. Clef comes in. It's going to take Rock's Chip. Then we go Heatran. Then we just Taunt it. Yeah, Slokin comes in. So he might have Earthquake on this thing. I will definitely be scouting for it. Yes, he does. <laughs> he does indeed. So Corviknight's in now. We know Iron Defense body press on this thing. So Hatterene should be able to come in. And then... Uh, yeah, I can just go Heatran here and get Rocks up again. As Slokin comes back... I'm gonna go Corviknight here. So he has Sludge Bomb, Future Set, Earthquake. Interesting, okay. So we just go back into this and Magma Storm. See what he does. Wonder if he uh, stays in or not. If he goes Pex, this thing is dead as well. Because uh, Magma Storm, Taunt, Earth Power can also beat uh, Toxapex. 
Oh, he stayed in. Ooh, Corviknight gone. And now the destruction of his stall team will commence. Now we go Umbreon. Safe switch out. It's Chansey, Chansey double, okay. That's my Hatterene switch right here. <laughs> go ahead and get rocks up for me, please. Yup. <laughs> ah. ah, nice. Nice. So Clef is back. It's gonna take some nice chip. I'm gonna Mystical Fire just to lower his thing. Keep him under, under the special attack. Let me just taunt here. So this is how you beat Stall, by the way. This is how you beat Stall. So he'll Moonblast, right? But then we go Corviknight to reduce the Moonblasts even more. Oh, but he goes Pex. That's fine, that's fine. I'm gonna go Vaporeon, double to Hadrian. Maybe a T-Spike comes out, or a knockoff, okay, that's fine. Perfectly fine. Clef is back. I'm just go back into Heatran here. Uh, I'm gonna Magma Storm now. Yes, Pex is gone now, I think. Pex should be gone. That's Earth Power here. So knockoff won't help him. Yup. Excellent, excellent. So that thing being gone is amazing. He's got four Pokemon left. I don't even think the Clefable can win. Slowking comes out here, we get to go into Umbreon. So we got rid of uh, Corviknight, we got rid of Toxapex, two Pokemon that, are, that were definitely annoying. Uh, I'm gonna wish up here, and then Foul Play. Look at that damage right there. It's because he's got the Earthquake. <laughs> now we just wish up, uh, we can wish up Hatterene. Future Sight shouldn't matter too much. In terms of that. Yep, go ahead and wish this thing back up. Well, that kind of did a lot. <laughs> that kind of did a lot. So Clef is in now. Let me just go Heatran. Taunt. Moonblasts, he has 24. But we can, uh, we can reduce it quite a bit. So now he's got 18. This is really good. So we taunt again. So I don't know what his last move is. It could be aromatherapy. It could be something like that. So we got Corviknight. So now he's got 14. Yep, he has to do that. He has to go into uh, Sloking there. Go ahead and wish. So this thing is in. Let's wish up Corviknight here. Back into Umbreon we go. So he, there's no way he can win this game. His Corviknight's gone and we have pressure and wish. Yep. Let's wish up Heatran now. <laughs> Taunt this. So once he's out of Moonblasts, he's done. He's done for. Yeah, we go Corviknight now. Chansey comes in, we go, uh, let's just body press here. Uh, Slowking comes in, okay. So then we go Umbreon. We'll foul play this. Then Wish into Heatran. <laughs> nice, nice. That's how you, uh, that's how you destroy a stall team right here. Tangrowth, what do we do about you, Tangrowth? We, uh, we go Hatterene. Ooh, so he does have Focus Blast, it seems. It does seem like he has Focus Blast. Mystical Fire should be our play. So he could be AV, or he could be, um, Rocky Helmet with, uh, with his stuff. Sleep Powder maybe is the last. I forgot it. I don't think he put anything to sleep. Nice, nice. Let's, uh... Actually, let's, uh... Magma Storm here. 
Okay, so he does Moonblast. Oh, this is pretty good. Yeah, we just taunt now. Yeah, so we beat this thing 1v1 now. Should've done this a while ago, but at least we are able to beat it. But this looks like a 6-0 against Stall. Now, I don't know what this guy's... No, you know what? We'll start a timer. Oh, he left. That's why. <laughs> this guy left. Ah, uh, not bad. Not bad. So, as you can see, you know, not much Vaporeon here, of course, due to it being stall and not being able to activate our, our, our items and stuff. However, still a fantastic one. On to the next one. On to the next one. Continuing on here. Well, this guy's rocking a very interesting team. Nice contrast from the stall game. Um, got that nice veil combination here. Uh, I guess what we could do is... I like leading Hatterene. Because here's what I'm thinking, right? He veils here as we calm mind. Then goes Mel Metal. We go into Corviknight and then Defog. So watch. Yeah. Oh, he, oh never mind. <laughs> Next level. Next level right here. Um, Mystical Fire. Once again, and like I said, now we go Corviknight on the double Iron Bash. Yep, that gets super hurt. And we get Defog here, or um, can just Roost actually. Roost seems to be the play. But this thing's going to be a threat now, right? So let's see. I always forget it bounces back. Encore. True, true. Um. All right, let's think about this. Umbreon is very much needed. Hmm. I mean, I guess we could still go Umbreon. And just foul play here. If we get rid of Garchomp, that's going to be great. So is he Life Orb? No, he's not Life Orb. But it seems pretty fine for now. So we go Mamoswine here. Ninetales comes back. Can just rock tome this and then EQ should take it out. Got that Chinese AV memo. So I wonder how we can activate Vaporeon, because that's gonna be really useful. If somehow we can. The veil's definitely uh Definitely troublesome. But I think if anyone can do it, Mamoswine can do it. Melmetal's almost gone as well, which means that Hatterene also does not have much Pokemon it can really, uh... That can really, uh, take it on. Hmm, what would he go into here? Or what would he do here? He could, uh, he could Focus Blast... Heatran's not really that needed, so I'm going to go into it. So he, he could Focus Blast if he wants to. But thankfully, we do live. He had to hit two in a row, I guess. Which, that itself is kind of a, a tough one. Oh, my lord. <laughs> yep. I mean, that, that seems about accurate, right? 50% for Focus Blast? Seems about accurate. Um. Yeah, now we just... Uh, let me just go Mamoswine here and Ice Shard. Yeah. Needed. It needed. But definitely Ice Shard will take it out. So that Pokemon being gone is nice. And I think Mamoswine can just win this game. So, this uh, Ninetales will live at 1%. Garchomp. Well, there's only one turn of Veil left, which is pretty good. And we are a full HP <laughs> AV Mamoswine. Thankfully. 
So Torn comes in here. I don't know what this is going to do. Um, but if I were me, I would Icicle Crash here. He is probably Nasty Plot, but look at that. Look at that damage right there. Spideff drop shouldn't matter. Ah, I see, I see. Okay. That is unfortunate. Very unfortunate, I must say. And I can't lose Mamoswine either. So we must, uh, we must do what we must do. Go into Hatterene here. And then Combined up. I don't know if uh, Hatterene's going to be faster or not than Melmetal. I actually don't know. But the I think the play is to Combine up here. Alright, that works. <laughs> a Focus Blast hit into a Icicle Crash miss. Was a bit unfortunate. But this is fine, I think. We take this hit. Do not get hurt. Thank you, thank you. That was kind of tough. So Ninetales comes back. So he'll get his... Uh, He'll get his Veil up here. We can comment up again. And then I just, uh, Mystical Fire, I think. Uh-huh. Let's see. So I should snap out, hopefully. Yep. But then he can just Earthquake with, uh, with Garchomp. Which isn't so bad, actually, because, um... I'm pretty sure that Vaporeon can actually handle the rest pretty decently. Once, especially once the Veil is gone. I don't know if this is weakness policy Dragapult though. <laughs> That's the one thing I gotta watch out for. So I assume Garchomp would come in here. Or uh, Melmetal, but I don't know if he's faster or not. Just hoping for uh, screens to go away soon. Mamoswine in the back, always, always useful. Um, and the AV allowed us to live that Focus Blast, which is really nice. Oh, this thing comes in here. Um, that's going to be a threat. But actually, no, we have... Uh, well, we do have Ice Shard, unless he has like Sucker Punch or something on this thing. I think my play would be to... Um, would be to Psy Shock here. Oh, he just Phantom Forces, okay. Fair enough, fair enough. So that's not bad. Um, so I guess the play... The play would be to... Could sack here or I could go Corviknight. I'm going to go Corviknight. Give him Helmet Chip, which is going to be useful. And he's not Leftovers either, which is good. Let's uh, defog away these screens, which will be nice. So he's Phantom Force, Flamethrower. You go Hatterene on this. So he'll be able to knock us out here, right? That's fine. Absolutely fine. Now what we do to win this game is we go Vaporeon, right? We go, we go right into Vaporeon here. Um, we Acid Armor. So I think this should be good for us. So we know he's Phantom Force, Flamethrower, probably Dragon Darts, and DD. Oh, nice, 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 nice. This works. <laughs> this works pretty well. I can get another one up here if I wanted. Or I could just attack, actually. Um, get another one up. Nice. Now we're good. Now we're good to go. We are good to go. Let's Ice Beam here. Yup. He lives. He is going to be weakness policy though, but don't think he'll be, he'll be able to knock us out at this range. So I'm pretty free to just uh, Ice Beam again. Yep, that thing is gone. And then I think Vaporeon just wins this game. Acid Armor Vaporeon coming through. And we'll be faster than uh, Melmetal. Not Garchomp though, but still does not matter too much. Look at this. 19? Not bad. Not bad at all. 
Last is gonna be this, and we're gonna be able to knock it out. Oh, yes, Custap. Ooh, that's kind of heat. But thankfully, Mamoswine can knock it out. GG. Good game, good game. Nice, we got the thumbnail text as well, so that's uh, <laughs> that's gonna be fantastic. Um, wow, solid, solid overall. What are we at right now? Let's see. Let's get like one or two more for this one. This has been a pretty solid one. Getting to see Vaporeon put in work, even though that stall game took up a bit, it was uh, quite nice to be able to see the team putting in the work. That last game was really nice too. Um, okay, this person's team, it's going to be interesting. They got Blaziken. I haven't seen Blaziken in a minute, but Vaporeon looking kind of clean, looking kind of clean. Maybe we could see it get activated. But I lead Mamoswine here, I think, is, is my play. Um, start a timer as well. So his stealth rocker is probably going to be either Land or Titar. So it looks like... Okay, so this is fine. Um, I just want to damage this thing. Weaken the Finny, and that's going to open up our team a lot. I believe. Get some nice damage on this. He Moonblasts here and gets a crit. Unfortunate crit. That's pretty nice. Um, if we can knock this out, that'd be beautiful. Yep, beautiful. So that works out pretty well. Rillaboom comes in, we go Corviknight. As he decides to, let's see. You turn out, that's fine. Into who, I wonder? Blaziken, I see. I'm gonna Brave Bird you. <laughs> Yo, would he attack here? I don't know. Yeah, he does. Ah, dang. Um, not the worst thing, though. He has Life Orb, unfortunately. So I think we just go Vaporeon then and just uh, Scald here. It's not the worst, it's not the worst. I think we can come through. Umbreon can definitely handle a lot. I thought he'd SD there for sure. I mean, if he SD'd, I lost, like, straight up. So I had to stay in an attack. And he definitely was SD. But we don't have to worry about that threat anymore, so that's fine. I get to go uh, Umbreon here. On this Pokemon. Could also Ice Beam here as well. But he decides to Volt-Switch out into somebody. Blaziken it is. We go uh, Hatterene now as a close combat. So that works out pretty well. Um, I guess just Draining Kiss here is the play. So I, I guess he could Flare Blitz here technically. And that would be a 2 at KO, but he goes Titar. This set, I don't know what he is. Um, don't see an item or anything. So what we want to do is... Uh, we could go Heatran, really. Like, that could work. Um, let's go Heatran. So he's actually Rock Tomb. Maybe he has Earthquake on this set. It could be AV. Because if I see Rock Tomb, I'm thinking AV, like, AV Titar of some sort. Yeah, he has Earthquake. So this works pretty well so we are going to uh, just uh, wish up here I could wish Mamoswine back I'm pretty sure it'll be alive I'm pretty sure it'll survive this hit watch check this out yes survived <laughs> it did indeed survive ah not bad not bad get the big crash off that would have done maybe about 20 or 30, I guess. So Blaziken's in now. We're just going to go uh, Hatterene here. So let him uh, knock himself out in the process if he decides to stay in, which he does. So that Pokemon's gone. And then all we got to do is... Uh, I think we go Vaporeon here. Or no, actually we go Umbreon. Umbreon here. So we know this Rillaboom is going to be Choice Banded. He's going. He's going to go Landers here. Let's wish up. I think wish is our play. So 
yeah, he does U-turn out. Goes into Rillaboom. We protect here to see what he wants to do. See exactly what he wants to do here. And it's going to be U-turn. Okay. So we can just... Uh... Ooh, you know what we could do? You know what we could do? You go Vaporeon here. I mean, we didn't take that really well, but this is fine. This is perfectly fine. Back to Landris he goes. Let's Ice Beam now. Ice Beam right here. So he'll you turn out into Rillaboom. Yep. Get a nice big Ice Beam off. Clean damage. Clean damage. Go Heatran on the Wood Hammer. That works. Double. We double here in the Mamoswine. Oh, well, he, they've already left. <laughs> ah, the Vaporeon Ice Beam did the trick. Caused them to leave the game. Not bad, not bad. So this was a pretty solid one. Like, as soon as we um, were able to eliminate Finny, Mamoswine could go in pretty easily. But hope you all have been enjoying uh, this video. It's been a solid one for sure. And I think after this, let's get one more to end it off with. But nice, nice. This team has been doing really well. Like, I was doing well with it, and I was just like, I should be just recording these games. I'm getting some really good games here. <laughs> so that's what I ended up doing instead. Um, but let's uh, let's get one more to finish it off with and see how it does. Ah, the game I wanted to see. Stall. <laughs> Unfortunate. Cannot even begin to describe this game, but... Maybe we can uh, maybe we can put in the work here. Let's see. I'm gonna lead with uh, Mamoswine. EQ on this turn should be our play, I think. As he goes Avalog, this Pokemon is gonna be a problem, a problem. Yeah, this Pokemon is gonna be annoying, but I think Hatterene actually is really good versus this guy's team. I'm gonna calm mind up here, and then Psy Shock. For that nice chip. We get the comment up again now. As Draco's ult comes in here. So we go Mamoswine on this Pokemon. And then... Can just Earthquake here once again. Go into Hattery now. So Draco's ult is going to be the problem. That we have to deal with. So he'll recover up. We can comment up here. Um, pretty sure I can actually live this as well, but I don't know if he's Hustle or not. That's the only problem. Let's go back to Mamoswine. <laughs> not bad, not bad. I'm actually going to double the Heatran. And then Magma Storm. Which I think will be our play. So Pex comes in, and this thing should... Ah, wonderful, wonderful. I was going to say it should get knocked out, but I guess he's going to still give it to me. Ah, uh, but he is Shed Shell. But he's gone into the wrong Pokemon. Oh, that's uh, that's really bulky. That's actually good information about how bulky it is. Watch this play. Umbreon into uh, Mamoswine. Yup, yup. EQ on this turn, or we switch out here into Hatterene. Yup, that works. Let's just Drain and Kiss here. Ooh, actually, let's comment up. Let's comment up. He's not going Draco's ult. Actually, because I see that this Draco's ult is that is this bulky, I'm pretty sure we could beat it 1v1. I'm positive we could beat it 1v1. So I want to see him switch out here into probably Pex or something. Interesting how we get the stall game here, but I want to also see... So if Blissey is gone... Um, actually, Shedinja needs to be gone. <laughs> Shedinja really needs to be gone. Um, for Vaporeon to put in the work, so I'm gonna stay in. So he protects here. I wonder what he's gonna do. Draco's ult, that's fine. I'm gonna Draining Kiss here. Yep. 
Fantastic. This thing is almost gone now. Just go into, uh... Well, actually, he can't really damage us anyways. Oh, this is fine. Yo, let me rock tomb here. <laughs> let me rock tomb. Ah, uh, but he switches to Corviknight. That gives us a Heatran switch, I think. Heatran should be the play. Um, I, be I believe we can actually... Uh, we can try to get up rocks, I think. He has to, like, he's forced to spin and stuff. And all, all kinds of things like that. So we go Heatran. As he goes Shedinja. Let's get rocks up here. Should be the play. He goes Pex. So we know he's Shed Shell on Pex. Always good to know. Um, I think I just uh, I just go with uh, Umbreon here. Umbreon here is the play, and then just wish, or I could uh, go Hatterene now. Perhaps he T spikes, so we bounce it back, which I think is probably what's gonna happen. Now he goes Corviknight. Okay, so this works pretty well. Gonna Mystical Fire. And then Combine up here. So if he decides to Roost, this will be his last mistake. Now what we're going to do is we are going to Psy Shock here. Into Pex. Hit that up for some clean, clean damage. Draining Kiss now is our play. Or actually even Mystical Firing is the play. Um, yep. Well, he goes Blissey. Okay, that's fine. So this thing needs to get destroyed. Had her, uh, this thing is in. Shadow Claw, and Shedinja's gone. Okay, so Shedinja being gone means that Vaporeon can win this game, but Hadrian is actually carrying in this stall match, which is amazing. Uh, rocks are gone though, unfortunately. Blissey is in. What, we're, what are we going to do here? Let's side shock this. He's faster, of course, but we get some big, big damage off. Um, 30. Yeah, he'll knock us out here. I go Mamoswine. Uh, actually, I'm going to go uh, Umbreon. And then Wish. Wish into myself, actually. And then wish again. Into Corviknight. So that's good. Could get a body press off here, but he goes into Pex. I think the play is to go Umbreon. And then go right for the wish. So he's going to be trying not to let Hatterene get wished up. Which makes sense. Yeah, let's go Corviknight now. And he's going to run out of side tosses eventually, though. That's the good thing. Let's go Mamoswine here. Mm-hmm. This works. Corviknight's in, though. Then we just go into... Um, our own Corviknight here should work pretty well. Pex is in. Did not want Hadrian to get this weak, but... We got rid of Shedinja. That that's I think definitely worth it. Nice synchronize. Okay, okay. So we go Heatran and set up rocks. Then we just uh, I think Earth Power. Yep, Magma Storm here, and then Magma Storm again into I think the Blissey slot. Yes, yes, yes. Taunt here. Should be our play. And then just Earth Power to knock out Blissey. And then I think now it opens up the way for uh, Vaporeon to win the game. Which I think can work pretty well. I Earth Power here though. And that's gone. <laughs> I don't even think we need Vaporeon now. Good game. And that's where we're going to end it off for this one. So thank you everybody for watching. I hope you all enjoyed seeing this team destroy... Uh, I think two stall teams in this one we destroyed. And uh, Vaporeon in the other games was able to put in the work. And we activated, we did activate weakness policy in the beginning too. So I'm happy about that. But yeah, like I said in the beginning of the video, let me know in the comments um, what your favorite evolution is, what kind of uh, type you want to see in a future one. And uh, look forward to hearing from you all as always. I'll see you all on the next video. And peace.